How's it going, boys? Today, we are playing best trial deck ever. Oh, yes. So, everyone usually plays this deck just red and blue. Like, obvious pansies. But, being myself, I obviously said this can be improved by a lot. So, three shocks, three anticipates, two search for the scanter, four lightning strikes, two guys blessings, three growth spirals, four chemists insights, four wilderness reclamations, four Ral storm conduits, four, uh, three Ral's outbursts because he, our boy can't control his emotions properly. <laughs> so, three, uh, two electro dominances, three expansion splash explosions. I completely did not pronounce that even remotely correctly, huh? One Arc of Rask and one Blast Zone. So, let's get cracking, because this deck is definitely something special. And in the meantime, we have a new Patreon to tank, and he's a biggin. Michael Dixon. Oh yes, I pronounced that name correctly. Second name in a row, pronounced correctly. I'm on a hot streak, not gonna lie. But, a little bit of a thing I noticed. So... Being the obvious dominant Chad alpha male that I am, I was watching an anime video, like 30 minutes ago. Nakstaku, Black Clover. And for some odd reason, in that video, I made it to the end of the video. And, he was thanking his Patreons. Now, he started thanking them one by one, reading out their names and whatnot. And you know what hit me on the head? He was reading those names, and all of those names sounded normal, pronounceable, not complete bullshit jokes. Yeah, I know. Literally unthinkable of. So yeah, that got me thinking. Why the hell can't you guys use normal names? You know, names that are actually pronounceable, normal or, you know, not absurd. You know, j just just a general question. You know, no, no biggie, j just a general question to ask. Oh god. Well, you know, we're stuck with each other, and I'm honestly fine with it. You guys do an amazing job supporting my drug addictions, alcohol addictions, smoking addictions, MILF addictions, and every other bad inkling that I have. 10 out of 10. Would probably do it all over again. But yeah, currently we have pretty much one of the biggest and best ways that this game can happen, because we have Wilderness Reclamation, it's turn 4, our opponent has not killed us even though he's some kind of aggro deck or something like that. And one more, oh Jesus, that's gonna be good. Okay, so essentially if he doesn't pull out a miracle out of his ass right now, uh, we have 100 billion percent won. That's just how it goes. So, we're just dropping one more Wilderness Reclamation, and then we can uh, Expansion Splash Explosion for one. But we really want to kill this. Chances are we're killing it, because it's not exactly hot with this deck. We have a lot of shocks, a lot of... A lot, well, we have a lot of everything, if I'm completely honest here. Or we could just completely obliterate Blast Zone and call it a day. But most likely we're, most likely we're not doing that. There's no need. We're going to be casting a bunch of do these things, so it's going to be good. And since it's, you know, uh, the Wilderness Reclamation thing, okay? Does this even work? I don't know. Let's check. I never... Oh my god, it actually works! That's insane! Wow! Uh, do I want to... Do I want to double it? Nah, there's no need. I want to double up a Lightning Strike or something. Okay, that's not exactly double the trouble, but hell, that's that's fine. So, let's just do this. In final lightning strike, please. This is getting annoying. Okay, more wilderness reclamations. On one hand, uh, that's not exactly bad. On the other, well, it's still not exactly bad. Oh, we don't even have enough mana to cast all of that. Maybe I should have actually, like, blew, uh, blew up the blast zone. But, you know, we're just gonna see what happens. We will have enough time. Oh, that's nice. Okay, Growth Spiral. If only we had lands to play, it would be pretty amazing. Okay, so he plays that. I think we 100% win. This guy just does not have enough stuff. He can't even do the uh, do the plus one one on the Boros Challenger, and that's honestly one of the saddest things I have ever seen in my life. 
more anticipate. I have a I have a feeling that this is the anticipate play. But yeah. First game and it's honestly going pretty amazingly. Let's let's see what we get with anticipate. Okay, we get a uh, land. Might as well take a land. You know, extra lands don't exactly hurt us at this point. But the fact that we can't really kill any of this is a little bit annoying. Actually, how much damage do we have? Six. We can almost kill him. That's legitimately in. Hey, wait, wait. Can we just kill him? Okay, let's do this and see what happens. Okay. So, let's just, let, let, let's just do this a lot. Add, add mana. Uh, next resolve. Okay, how many manas will we actually have at the end of this? I think we actually just win. I have never tried this, because it usually never goes this smooth. But it goes, honestly, pretty goddamn smooth. So, we're just gonna plump up all the manas and all the everythings we can. Okay. So... Expansion, Explosions, uh, for... 11. For 11? And can we copy it? I'm gonna draw all the cards. Okay, we can't copy it, shit. Well, actually, no, we can't copy it. Well, shit. That's honestly still okay-ish. Okay, so, who would have thought? Yeah, that's one hell of a turn. Well, no one can honestly blame me for that. Honest mistakes. I should probably, like, try to do things like that. I have probably done a video where I have even done things like that, but, you know, not just being the brightest. Oh, we could have actually played the Search for a Scant also. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of pretty much everything here, because at this point, it's, it, it's, it's, it's literally, it, it just does not matter. It, it just does not matter. We, we hit the guy for 11. His pride at the bare minimum is extremely shriveled. You know, for the lack of better term. Also, we can just Thrall's Outburst and double copy that. Ooh, finally. Ooh, man. Yeah, went for the big, uh, big boys, huh? Okay, we're almost dead. Almost, but not yet. Okay, so this is the plan, right? This is the plan. We just drop Thrall for no reason. Use his thingamajig, because why not? And then just Thrall's Outburst. Honestly, it completely doesn't change a single thing, but that's fine. Okay, so just, you know, doing this. And next turn we're killing him. No, no, no even need to do any fancy schmancy stuff now, is there? Yeah, this is how the deck works. And my god, does, does it actually do, uh, do, do job? Okay. Resolve, and let's just cast, uh, Chemist's Insight. A, a fair, a fair ending to Anissa Avatar, if I do say so myself. Okay, boom. And he's dead. This is how the deck works. And it's extremely reliable for some odd reason also. It's mostly extremely reliable just because, uh, you know, almost every card synergizes with every card. You can double up things, you can draw things, you can get mana and draw things more smoothly. Search for a scan to get uh, proc'd instantaneously because uh, most of our cards are just instantaneously throw out trash that we can cycle. And you know, Gift of uh, uh, Guy's Blessing has never been useful. Well, actually, it has been useful one game. But, you know, one game. Admittedly, that does not uh, change uh, change it too much. Guy's Blessing just instantaneously wins against Mildex, so, you know, 10 out of 10. Oh, a Swamp Start. Man, this guy is not going to be happy about life. Anyone who plays a Swamp first turn loses. It's this deck again. Lord have mercy, why is this deck even an, a thing? Well, honestly, it doesn't matter, but yeah, th these decks have a bunch of counter spells and a bunch of kite sail buccaneers. Yeah, buckle up, buckaroo, because that's life. So, I'm just gonna get rid of it, because we, we need to get rid of it. It honestly annoys me to know to an uh, unreasonable extent that these things exist. It's not even a good card for most, uh, uh, for the most part. 
So let's just do this and hope that we get a wilderness reclamation, lads. Oh yes. That's exactly what we want to see. So, good luck dealing with wilderness reclamation because it's a cod. So now we can use Ral's outbursts. We can chemists inside. Oh! Oh! A Jade Light Ranger, you say? You know what I say? It's dead. It's gone. Not today, not tomorrow. And I'm gonna just search something. Ah, more 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 damage. Makes sense. Actually it doesn't, but yeah. So we can almost, uh, we, since we have two wilderness, oh god, yes. Yes! Yep, that, that's what we like to see. Okay, let's start. Uh, do we want to do this 6-6? Six, six? We can almost kill him. Yeah, let's just do it. Actually, no, let's not do it like that. Uh, let's Rawls Outburst and see what happens. Uh, more wilderness reclamations, okay! The game's definitely telling me something. I'm not exactly 100% sure what exactly it's trying to tell me, but it could possibly be something good. Like, for example, that it's my day or something like that. So yeah, there's absolutely no way this guy can, you know, not die. And that's amazing. Unless, obvious. Oh, Tendi boy. Yeah, that's not even City's Bliss Tendi boy. I'm actually gonna let him survive because he's just essentially dead. Yeah, no, no real shame in just leaving this guy for dead. Okay, so let's cast this. Let's let's pretend that we care for a moment. Yeah, yeah, that that's decent pretending. Okay, you see, you see what I mean. This this deck just does this, and it does this extremely well, good and whatnot. It's quite ridiculous, honestly, how reliably good this deck can be, because it. Again, every card synergizes with every card. And and when you're playing a goddamn game where Search for a Skanda is arguably your worst card in the deck, you're probably having a good time. You are most likely having a good time. Let's just offensive GG him. Let's just, you know, completely offensive GG him. I, I feel cheeky today. L let's also pay life for this and say, oops. And now let's start tapping mana, because, you know, that looks scary. Okay, a bunch of mana has been officially tapped. Oh shit, I did not do it. it, it, it you know what? It doesn't even matter. Well, let's just say one more oops. He's dead anyway, so what does it matter, honestly? Okay. So, resolve. Okay, just, just continuing to do this, because, you know... That this deck does obviously take a while. Okay, any moment now. Uh, any moment. Any moment. Okay, let's do the math. Uh, 14. Okay, that should be 14. We don't even need 14, but it's fine. Actually, that was a, a way better. So yeah, boom. One more victory for the best trial deck. Man, I love it when the plan comes together. It's actually absurd. But yeah. Okay, anything good? Uh, no, it's a pirate. And I actually hate pirates. The only good pirate is the hostage taker. Every other pirate is just... I don't like it. I do not like pirate cards, like, at all. They give me nightmares because of the orcish fleet admiral, or what's its name? Giving plus two damage to all the pirates. Not a good feeling. Not like at all. Also, by the way, Ral's Outburst is an amazingly good card because it essentially just lets you search your deck for things that you probably want. So that that's really good, usually. So, Lightning Strikes just Ral's Outburst, four lands. Is the game saying I actually need to lose now? Is it? Oh no. Oh, we're gonna find out sooner or later, I guess. Ooh, the card bags that don't glow. Pitiful. Not gonna lie. Well, it's his choice. I would honestly never buy a card bag, even though I actually don't like this card bag. I, I, I see no appeal to it, to be honest. But that's fine. Okay, we have a wilderness reclamation, which means uh, pretty much almost already won. That's nice. Okay, so if he drops a Vanguard here, I'm not even mad. 
Well, you know, generally just a bit mad. But no, not even too mad. Because if he drops Vanguard and he protects it, he's essentially dealing more damage to the face than, you know... Sh Ooh, hello there. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a problem. I don't like problems. You could say I'm actually extremely against problems. Yeah. Thank God we have a bunch of spells. Thank God we have a bunch of spells. Okay, it's time to Rals Outburst this vampire indiscriminately. And that's our Wilderness Reclamation. So essentially, if he doesn't drop three more Calls of the Feast, uh, we have pretty much one, honestly. There's probably... Oh, this is annoying. That's annoying. But on the other hand, well, you know. Let's just see. Maybe we some somehow that makes a difference. Let's see. Uh, no. Well, actually, we can kill it with Ral next turn, so that's gonna be pretty good. But I do want to play uh, play the second Wilderness Reclamation. They're most likely more than that. Oh, I forgot that card exists, even though previous, uh, prior to War of the Spark, Mortify was one of my favorite cards, because goddamn Mortify is good. Okay, I need to kill that most likely. The problem is, I don't really want to kill it that badly. Okay, next turn, next turn, end. And let's use use this thing properly once in our lives, because chemists inside. Okay, and sack a land, and let's see what do we get. Ah, that's actually perfect. Ah, okay, almost perfect, almost perfect. Uh, yeah, let's just do one more of these. Okay, growth spiral and whatnot. Not bad. Okay, so we want expansion, explosion, the vampire. We're gonna see what happens. The only b oh shit. Okay, uh, not great, not great. It could have been a little bit better, but not great currently. Okay, did we do an oopsie there? Uh, no, we did not do an oopsie. Okay, this is actually even remotely decent. Okay, so we do this. Even a land to play, that's amazing. Okay, so that happens. Now the question is, what else happens? I think we just draw a bunch of cards, right? Okay, do we just... No, yes, expansion, explode... No, yes, yes, no, okay. Okay. I don't exactly know what's the plan of action here, boys. It could have been a little bit better, but then, then again, you should not expect by this point a lot from me. You just should not. It, it low, you know, lower your expectations, and you're and you're gonna have a better time. Just, just lower those expectations. Okay. So, uh, twelve, twelve, goddamn damage. Do I want to do it? No, yes, no. I'm just gonna hit him for 12 and let's call it a day. Well, actually, if we hit him for 12, each opponent loses life. If he buffs that, I think I die if he buffs that, so I can't actually take legitimately that risk. That would be just too much uh, bad things. Okay, now I need to discard literally everything, sadly. So I'm discarding this, I'm discarding... No, I'm not discarding the all. I'm discarding this, I'm discarding this. I am discarding the... <clears throat> I have no idea what to discard, boys. I just don't. Submit 4, submit 5. Yeah, why not? I'm just gonna discard most of you. Just, just gonna discard most of you. Okay, uh, submit more. A lightning strike? Ooh, fuck it. If we lose, we lose like men. Okay, I think this is honestly the worst hand to discard, but that's fine. <laughs> that, 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 okay, that's not exactly fine. It's okay, we can double up on Chemist's Inside next turn, and it's gonna be one, one more God knows what happening situation. Yeah, great. Okay. I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing at this point. That could have probably been played a trillion times better. Definitely could have been played a trillion times better. Okay, so we do this, and now we just... Ah, uh, give it insight. Anticipate, anticipate. Anticipate seems fine, right? Anticipate seems fine. Do a little bit of damage there, do a little bit of damage here. Uh, Wilderness Rig, no, Rall's Outburst. I just want to clear the board at this, uh, this stage, probably. Shock, also pretty good card to have. 
Scylla just killed this. Honestly, the Rall's just gonna kill him. I don't even need to play this properly at this point. The Rall's just gonna finish him off. It's kind of inevitable at this point in life. Okay, nothing really to play here, but we do have a bunch of wilderness reclamations. So, let's just outburst the Rall boy. We have already done 4 damage like this, that's pre vac not gonna lie. Uh, lightning strike, why not? <clears throat> and just continue clearing the board? Or just use this? I'm gonna just use this. We're probably fine, we're probably fine. You know, what, what could possibly go wrong, right? And that's a lot of things. Okay, so, uh, now just do this. And Rel continues to deal damage to the face. I honestly think we probably won if we just played it properly. But th this is no, this is definitely not a time to just, you know, think about small minute things that don't matter too much. Okay, so just continuing onward. That's dead. I uh, still have a bunch of cards to play. Okay. Uh, yeah, definitely could have most likely killed him. No problems whatsoever. Oh, boys, boys. I'm gonna just kill this thing, right? No, that's, no, that's the wrong choice. That's the wrong choice. Z. Good. Okay, let's not make the right choice at the bare minimum, right? At least once in our lives. So, he's gonna have 15 HP. I don't, well, 16 HP. But 16 HP does not exactly matter a lot in uh, in face of absolute destruction and chaos and whatnot. So, you know, uh, tough luck, son. Do I even need to do the math? I honestly think I don't. So, I'm just gonna play the role. We're gonna do this and see what, what, what magically just pretends to happen. Okay. So, we do this. We end turn, right? We do this, we pay blue mana as much as humanly possible, so it's easier to count, because it's starting to get a little bit frustrating. Okay, that that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of mana. We do this, we do this, we, we continue on playing, paying mana. And, honestly, he should just GG. When you see someone do this sort of thing, it, it usually means it, it's over. It's absolutely over. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's, it usually is the over sign. He's just probably thinking of what's gonna happen. Well, can't honestly blame him. It is a little bit nice to see sometimes that you draw almost all of your deck. But, you know, how many times do you honestly want to live through it? Okay, so that's 27, 27, uh, 23. So we can damage his face for 23 with expansion splash explosion. Yes, we can. Are we gonna do it though, or are we gonna be cheeky about it? Well, honestly, I don't think it matters. So 23 it is. 23, and yes, you want, I want him to draw the cards. And we completely butchered the, sh the, the stuff again. Okay. Okay, submit, submit, yes, yes, yes. Okay, submit, oh god, I can't even press the buttons correctly. Competitive, well, not competitive, but definitely a professional. Okay, second lightning blast now. Damn it, he got away. Well, that just happened. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, 46 damage turn, essentially, if anyone's wondering. There are a bunch of... There's definitely a bunch of options that can be done with this deck. It is pretty amazing, I and mean, we haven't even gotten to the bad games where Search for of Skanda needs to be played. Even the bad games are pretty easy. Even the bad games are pretty easy. But again, we will lose to any uh, good drawing red deck that just, you know, draws red deck things. Or plays a lot of tokens. This game, even the tokens were annoying. Admittedly, at no point in this game we, we even remotely were close to the actual need of removing things from the board. It's just the fact that I wanted to remove things from the board. I am playing this game by my own rules, goddammit. And one of my rules is, do not let a crab person survive. Search for a skant? Not today. Crab person needs to die. 
Yeah, I am not dealing with crabs. Also, if that's an elf deck, we're completely screwed, most likely. Well, actually, probably not, but, you know, close enough. Okay, so currently it looks pretty good because uh, Wilderness Reclamation is a possibility. Lightning Strike, double copy Lightning Strikes. Uh, the fuck is that? Return to Nature, okay. Uh, good job being a hipster. I'm, I'm sure your parents are proud of you and whatnot. I certainly am not. And I'm the closest thing to a parent you will ever see. Well, at least a male parent. Okay. <clears throat> so. Uh, Greenland. And we're pretty perfect. And hopefully he doesn't have one more na na return to nature. You know, Skrulls also had the return to nature. It had a hexagon effect of uh, minus one one. Oh god, that's exactly what I wanted to see for my uh, for my birthday. Well played, game. Ah, oh, today the game is just literally giving all its succulent delights. And even a second uh, wilderness reclamation, just in case one isn't enough. God, when the deck literally just plays itself. When the deck just literally plays itself. Amazing. Okay, so let's just do the resolve button. And let's just kill... No, there's no need to kill it like idiots. Well, there would be probably a need to kill it like idiots. But let's just do this. Okay, now we can do this. And we can uh, expansion splash explosion this. So you see, also the bonus is, if you're legitimately playing this, uh, this deck smartishly, aka not like me most of the time, you're gonna do amazing things, because, you know, just Thrall's Outburst and suddenly ching It's fine. Oh, look at that, we can even play the land. We can even play the land, lads. We can even play the land. Oh god, we can even play more lands. No, I don't want it to pay life. So essentially, uh, we just magically won, and it only took us nothing. It, it took us absolutely nothing. He he drops a biological ooze. He thinks he he thinks he's fine, but you know obviously he's not. We we play one more chemist's insight. We get absolutely nothing. Our soul is absolutely without question crushed. It doesn't matter no because we can more chemist's insights and now we have shocks. Obviously it's not exactly useful, but hey, it's something. It's something and it's something to be proud of. Okay. So, and also that guy is completely out of value at this point, so 10 out of 10 even more. Okay, a lot of... Ah, uh, yes. I'm just gonna do this, why not? Why not? Why not? So, yeah. Uh, that was pretty impressive. Also, search for Ascanta is definitely popping off. So, you know, if anything happens, we can honestly just, you know, search for a scan to everything and it's gonna be fine. Also, by the way, the minus two roll effect uh, stays after, uh, stays and uh, stays when you do this thing. So, it's du double the trouble. Okay, can we just kill him with this? I'm not sure. Should I try? No, I'm gonna just do it next turn and it's fine, probably. Okay, let's do this, even though that's completely not necessary and, you know, actually not even smart, but, you know, it's fine. We're playing a deck that's literally broken tier. Oh, is, could this be called a Miracle Rogue? Because I think it could. You know, you just get a bunch of cards, you play a bunch of cards a turn, and, you know, well, miracles happen. Oh god, yes, more, more, more. More, yes, more. Okay, and, you know, obviously, more of this. A lightning strike. Okay, I, th I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Yeah, and it all just improves the lightning strike chances. And, and let's just let's just do this. You know, to, to establish a little bit of dominance. And, you know, then we're gonna finish him off with a ginormous expansion splash explosion. This guy is probably thinking, what an idiot. He used the expansion slash explosion uh, to double up on the lightning strike. Obviously, this little butterfly, well, probably maggot. Butterflies come later. This little maggot has no clue. No clue what's gonna happen to him. Okay, so we drop the hardboard. 
we do the we do the raw thing. We say the mandatory oops, and then we just you know do this. And now we pay man. <clears throat> we pay a lot of man, as much man as can actually be paid. And we try to pay it reasonably, so you know we don't actually need to overcount the man too much. Bum bottom bada ba 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 bum bum bottom. Ba -ba 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 -bum. I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to be saying or doing while I'm just, you know, uh, sipping through all this mana. Well, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so. Do we actually, like, be reasonable people? Or do we just, you know, do a complete... Oh, he gave up. I was actually going to uh, suggest that I kill myself with this, because this deck is just so naturally unfair. But it seems like that's not an option. Okay, so, moving onward. What a deck, I know. So, moving onward. More games of extremely expansive explosions and electro-dominances and everything in between. But this is what happens when a deck is too much synergetic with, it, with itself. Every card synergizes with every other card in some way. For example, the lands literally synergize with any card in the game. That's pretty insane, if you think about it. So this is a pretty bad hand. We honestly don't want the Rals too fast, but hey, it's fine. Yeah. Whoever thought that this Rall is a reasonable idea, and that Expansion Splash Explosion and Electro Dominance need to be a thing, Obviously had never played magic before designing magic. So is that a is it no that's not an is it it's a dimmer deck. Oh no, it's a Golgari deck or something? I'm bad uh, I'm pretty clueless at this point. Well, whatever it may be, it's probably dead. Because it's turn three, I am still alive, so it doesn't have exactly many chances here now, does it? Okay, just do that I guess and moving onward. Okay, so what's the plan here? What what what's the plan? Oh, he didn't want a chemist's insight. Okay, is it a? No, it's not. For a moment there, I thought that maybe it's for some reason a guildgate deck, but it's obviously not. Yeah, that can go into the graveyard. It doesn't actually go into the graveyard, but hey, uh, good enough in my opinion. Good enough. So, counter spells. Exist? <sighs> oh. Well, not gonna lie. I completely did not expect that to happen. Yeah, well, shit. Oh. Huh? Did you just boss me? I think he just ballast me, boys. Uh, wait, how am I supposed to... Oh, shit. No, oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is actually bad. I played the wrong land, but it doesn't matter. Uh, if, it be, if we definitely have learned one thing, that we don't need to play good to win games. That is definitely a fact at this point. It's actually, you know, com completely unavoidable. Five? How does he have more cards in the graveyard than me? What's his secret? Maybe it's just using search for a scant properly. I don't know, but I don't like it, lads. What could his deck be? Is it just like a boss deck? Seems strange because he has guild gates. Maybe he's, he just doesn't have the lands or something. Well, we're gonna get the Ral off anyway, so that's gonna be good. Guy's Blessing. Uh, yes, we need to actually take this. Okay, so now we do this. And essentially, we do nothing else. Actually, we do the, we do the Guy's Blessing double up. Okay, so the point of the Guy's Blessing double up is the fact that we need everything of this back. We don't even care for the fact that, you know, honestly, we, you know, we're just gonna... You know, uh, lower our chances for search of a scanta happening. We kind of just need these things back a little bit more. Okay, that's good. And a lightning strike. So at least if he plays a Nicolas Bolas, we can actually get rid of it pretty aptly. 
So, uh, that's a bonus, but obviously he does have counter spells, so that's a little bit of a problem. Yeah, a little bit of a problem. Okay, so currently this is by far the worst game we have had, and still we have a chemist's inside and search for a scant and roll out on the field. So, you know, being the worst game possible, it doesn't actually say a lot bad about the deck. Also, search for a scant. Uh, library, because if he plays Bolas, we actually want to deal with that. Okay, I'm gonna use the plus two here. A lightning strike, you say? I don't need a lightning strike at this point. So, chemist's inside, go, and deal some damage to this cunt. Okay, so does he counterspell it? If he does, I'm honestly not even mad. We can just play it next turn anyway, and it's fine. Oh god, Dovin's veto. Of all things unholy, Dovin just did a veto. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna literally hit your face a lot. How about do those potatoes? We, we have a shock, so next turn we can deal 6 damage. And that means you're just one turn and one lightning bolt away from death. Said the idiot who at the same time just, you know, put the lightning strike down under right there. But it's fine. It's absolutely it's not fine. But yeah. So he does have a lot of counter spells though. That's like the only problem that I'm currently seeing here. A lot of counter spells. Also, by the way, fun fact, we can just minus two rel and do the chemist's inside for double up. Which is probably actually the real play. A uh, library, yes. Would I ever say no to a rel chan? I don't think so. I honestly like the old Ralt the deck a little bit better, because it honestly had a little bit more spunk in my opinion. It just had more spunk. Okay, and we're still dealing damage to this guy. Again, if we just completely concentrated on the face, uh, we most likely would have... We would most likely have honestly killed him by now. But since that's not happening... <clears throat> So the bad part is, well, the bad part is, oh, yes, that's the stuff we're looking for, lads. That is definitely the stuff. So next turn we're playing Wilderness Reclamation, and he's just using Search for a Scan. The four cards in the graveyard. Captivated audience, you say? Oof. 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 Shit, that's actually really bad. Oh, God, he just paid life, lads. Oh, Jesus. Uh, five black zombies. What could honestly go wrong at this point? Graveyard. I think I can even deal with that. If I'm completely honest right here. I think I can. I can deal with three zombies. Ah, huh, that's actually extremely bad. But, thankfully, we can expansion and slash explosion that part of life. So, just click the right card, please, thank you. Okay. So. Uh, no, we don't want more rolls. So, sadly, not, not today. Okay, so we do the minus two, plus one. Minus, minus two, minus two. Okay. So the point is, we do the minus thingamajig here, and it's... Wait, do we lose? We could be losing a lot here. Okay. So we kill him, get more, more Rals outbursts, essentially. And... Now we can survive for a little bit. We can definitely survive for a little bit. Okay. So, yeah. I'm not sure if we win this one. If he gets a counter spell, we definitely do not win. But if he doesn't get a counter spell, we can relatively pretty easily win because these zombies are not exact. Oh, God! Well, that's a concede. Yeah, that's a pretty hefty concede right there. Okay. So, that was the only game where we lost, and we lost only because we essentially chose out of our own free will to not hit the face. If we hit the face, we would have won. We just chose to not hit the face. Also, he got a little bit lucky on the Wilderness Reclamation counters. But yeah, that's fine.
Anyway, as you can see, this deck is one hell of a deck, to be honest. It does an extremely fine job almost at anything. Again, the land card synergize with the spell cards extremely well, if you think about it. You play a land, and then it synergizes with the rest of the deck. Unless you play too many lands in a row. But yeah, that's just essentially how, 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 the, how the battle rolls, or some, something like that. So, anyway, this is Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching, subscribe and Tony. Check out my channel, check out the Discord, check out the Patreon and have a nice day. Bye bye.